Good evening, folks. Welcome to Cafe Lena. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, it has been a little while since we've had Will Hogue at Cafe Lena. Too long, I think. Last time he was here, um, sharing the evening with uh, a lady named Elizabeth Cook. Some of you might know as well. It's a fantastic night. Um, but we've been looking forward to welcoming, welcoming him back for quite a while. And, and I got to say, it is so fantastic to do it with a room full of people. Um, it's something that we missed for a very long time. It, it just makes the energy in this room so different. Um, and it, his music is very deserving of that reception. Um, and I, I would say, um, you know, as a songwriter, there's, uh, it's, it's really hard to uh, deliver impact with simplicity the way that Will does. Um, and I think it calls to mind someone that uh, graced this stage many times, uh, a man named Towns Van Zant. Um, and uh, from, from there, uh, a gentleman named John Prine as well had that simplicity in their language um, that really makes you feel something pretty deep. Um, and so that's uh, something that Will works on very hard. Um, it's something that this room is meant for. So I hope you have a wonderful evening with Will. Please join me in welcoming him back to Cafe Lena, Will Hogue. Everybody's got a chain they need to break We're all holding on to something we don't need Some people always give less than they take They're the first to tell you what they need I was just too afraid to look And I tried to hold you like a lover But you broke me just like a crook Picked up the pieces that were scattered And I lay red roses Yes, it never even mattered. Tell me, is this all that you wanted me for? And I'm standing here holding on to nothing. While you just smile and walked away Like I'm just some casual acquaintance That you met somewhere along the way Like I'm just some schoolyard crush you flattered Till you didn't need now I'm left here stitching up the tatters Tell me is this all that you wanted me for
Schlick, Indiana. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. It is the Vegas of Indiana. Um, <laughs> it is 
is the home of Larry Bird and um, and Paoli Peaks Ski Resort. So there's a lot happening there. Um, but my wife isn't much of a gambler, and I am. So there's some autobiographical parts to that song that are a little <laughs> painful to work through. But um, I was sitting at the table playing blackjack by myself with just one other fellow, real kind of redneck Midwestern guy that um, did not like me at all. <laughs> and it was apparent from the moment that I sat down. And I'm a half decent blackjack player and my luck's pretty good and I know the rules and shit. Like I'm not, I'm not like hitting on 20 and pissing the guy off. Like there was no real reason to be that mad at me. But uh, we were just getting our asses kicked. The dealer was killing us. And um, part of the way into losing so bad, I decided that uh, I keep a picture of my two sons in my wallet. And 